हेलो एवरीवन टुडे विल डिस्कस अबाउट वाइवा क्वेश्चंस एंड आंसर्स ऑफ स्पायरोमेट्री व्हाट इज स्टैटिक लंग वॉल्यूम एंड कैपेसिटी स्टैटिक लंग वॉल्यूम एंड कैपेसिटी इज डिफाइंड एज लंग वॉल्यूम एंड कैपेसिटी व्हिच इज मेजर्ड वेयर टाइम फैक्टर इज नॉट इन्वॉल्वड सो एक्सप्रेस्ड इन मिलीलीटर और लीटर्स व्हाट इज डायनेमिक लंग वॉल्यूम एंड कैपेसिटी इट इज डिफाइंड एज लंग वॉल्यूम एंड कैपेसिटी व्हिच इज मेजर्ड where time factor is involved so expressed in milliliter per minute or liters per minute define tidal volume it is the volume of air inspired or expired during quiet breathing normal value is about 350 to 500 ml what is inspiratory reserve volume it is the maximum volume of air which can be breathed in after a normal tidal inspiration normal value is about 2000 to 3200 ml what is expiratory reserve volume it is the maximum volume of air which can be breathed out after a normal tidal expiration normal value is about 750 to 1100 ml what is inspiratory capacity it is the maximum volume of air which can be breathed in after completing tidal expiration it is equal to tidal volume plus inspiratory reserve volume normal value is about 2500 ml to 3700 ml what is expiratory capacity it is the maximum volume of air which can be expired after tidal inspiration it is equal to tidal volume plus expiratory reserve volume what is vital capacity it is the maximum volume of air which can be forcefully breathed out after maximum inspiration it is equal to tidal volume plus inspiratory reserve volume plus expiratory reserve volume normal value is about 4600 ml in an adult male name physiological conditions in which vital capacity reduces vital capacity is less in females old age in lying down position and in pregnancy name pathological conditions in which vital capacity reduces vital capacity reduces in respiratory obstruction emphysema pleural effusion pneumothorax ascites etc why vital capacity is more in standing position than other positions in standing position diaphragm descends so thoracic cage increases and peripheral pooling of the blood occurs due to gravity which reduces venous return what is timed vital capacity or forced vital capacity it is defined as maximum volume of air which can be expired rapidly forcefully and completely after maximum inspiration name different components of forced vital capacity different components of forced vital capacity are fev1 volume of fvc expired in first second of exhalation and it is about 80% of fvc fev2 it is the volume of fvc expired in first 2 seconds of exhalation that is about 95% of fvc fev3 it is volume of fvc expired in first 3 seconds of exhalation it is about 98 to 100% of fvc what is the clinical significance of fvc fvc helps to distinguish between obstructive and restrictive lung diseases in obstructive lung diseases fvc is normal but fev1 decreases while in restrictive lung diseases fvc reduces but fev1 remains normal what is pulmonary reserve or breathing reserve it is the maximum amount of air which can be inspired or expired by lungs in 1 minute above the pulmonary ventilation it is calculated as maximum voluntary ventilation minus pulmonary ventilation what is dyspneic index it is expressed as percentage of pulmonary reserve is equal to maximum voluntary ventilation minus pulmonary ventilation multiplied by 100 divided by maximum voluntary ventilation normal percentage is 
more than or equal to 60 to 70 percent. What are the uses of pulmonary function test? It helps in diagnosis and prognosis of respiratory diseases, diagnosis of severity of diseases and screening of respiratory diseases. Thank you.